right, may the fourth be with you. Uh, another video. I'm setting up a new tray over here, getting some bags going. I got this pepper. Look at the ant on that thing. Get off of there. I got these a few peppers here. The other ones look like pepperoncinis. This one, it's kind of white, but did I get a white ghost pepper? Maybe this is it. I'm going to try it. See if it's oh, hmm. Got some flavor. Got a little heat there. Wait for it. Hmm. And again, this isn't a very ripe pepper. Hmm. Not so hot. Go a little farther with it. Hmm. It does have a little heat. Let me try a bite of the top. I don't want to swallow all that. Get some of the seeds out of there. Nah, it's not a very hot pepper. Not yet, anyways. It does have a little, little heat in the back of the throat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not super, super hot, though. But look at this. I had one of these the other. Look at the color of that thing. Oh, my God. That is just the prettiest color. Well, I mean, unless you like the chocolate, that's chocolate's pretty too. I love that color. Ooh, and there's a chocolate primatale with an ant on it. There's another one that's not so ripe. No ants on that one. Oh yeah, my electro culture. I got my uh, I got one antenna here. I've been watching a lot of videos on this. This one guy's got like three videos, but they're man, they're so long. He just keeps repeating himself and waving his arms around. He starts to show how to make this Yagi antenna or something, and then he stopped to then he starts talking again about Yagi 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 and the circuit and this and that. And I can't quite follow him to get a actual diagram or any kind of ooh, wait, that thing's filling up a bit pull the water out of there filling this one tray up over here so yeah try to try to actually get some oh man it's a little burning in my throat now try to get somebody that can get to the point on youtube and tell you about electroculture but anyways between all the stuff that he yammered on and on and on about uh you gotta have a ground you gotta have some antennas up it covers an area in the garden um uh, so I got a ground wire running from my tallest one over into this tray under here, into this tray up here, into the water. This one goes down into the bag with the tray and the water. Um, and, uh, yeah, electroculture. This one, this plant here, chocolate reaper, this is a, this is a chocolate true to form plant. Uh, it's got little tails on there. A bunch of these have little tails on there. This thing's getting loaded, by the way. A lot of flowers on it. And a lot of little peppers all over the place. And I just put the uh, just put the electroculture antenna in here the other day. But it's not doing any worse, that's for sure. So yeah, everybody says electroculture works and the ones that don't understand it, they got a lot of really cool looking stuff and ideas and the, the people that do understand it can't quite stay on track to show you an exact diagram or from one end to the other how the thing is bent up. It's a couple loops, 40% bigger in the back. I mean, there's a lot of technical stuff he gives you but he doesn't show how the loops wind around and which way they get the front loop loops and then it goes back and then it loops around to the bigger loop and it comes back and it's all tied together with duct tape and stuff but no, no real specifics 40% is about the only real number you get out of the whole thing I don't know but yeah I got I got some circuitry going on here that I they said don't use any steel wire copper wire so I got a copper wire there I got a copper wire there and then on the end I got this uh, galvanized steel hardware cloth and then down, down there I got another one so this is kind of a uh oh that's lightning that's thunder 
off in the distance though um so yeah that there and this here creates a little faraday cage kind of a thing to concentrate the the stuff coming down into the antenna there again i don't know i'm making this all up everybody else does and the one sciencey guy that talking head science guy just sits there talking head blah, 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 yagi 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 antenna yagi antenna yagi antenna yagi oh you can have a round one you can have a square one you can have one with bars on it you can have all three of them at the same time you know it covers an area and it's going to ground it in uh, the circuit in the middle of the circuit in the middle of the top of the top and the bottom bottom and the grounded bottom in the middle and the top circuit and the, oh my god i don't know he just the more he talks the more confusing it gets so if i ever get any definitive uh uh, answers or proof or diagrams of how to actually make a Yagi antenna or anything else but from what he, from what I understand any any piece of copper wire and it isn't the wire that draws stuff down it's the, a wave that kind of goes over everything because these wires are sticking up it's kind of like a shielded it's bringing the ground force up not actually capturing things from the ionosphere and drawing them down in it's a kind of a band in the middle type thing i don't know whatever but be that as it may my peppers do look awesome now i know that son of a gun right there is hot that is a ghost pepper i see them little thorns on there yeah because camera can't focus but yeah my peppers look awesome they're loving it they love electroculture oh and electrolytes don't forget the electrolytes in your electroculture and oh oh yeah and i grounded this one too see there's a ground wire that goes down into the ground about two feet and there's a little coil underneath here it circles around and that so that grounds that grounds that grounds that to that to that this is grounded into the ground there these are grounded into the chambers over here or the the trays over here which are now filling up with water i think i got this one pretty full yeah it starts filling up the bucket it's full now we bring this over here and fill up this one uh, so yeah may the fourth be with you mm, man look at this one i can I can see the spikes on that from like 10 feet away. That is going to be an awesome pepper right there. Well, they're all going to be awesome, but looks awesome. This one over here too. I got a bunch of thorns on that one. Trinidad Maruga chocolate scorpion that plant. Cut.